Hi, all my LGBT friends and others. We're going to continue in the book of uh, Leviticus. But uh, in my previous um, video, I just wanted to um, talk about um, chapter 23 in Exodus. Um, talking, it, it was talking about the laws concerning slander and false witness, justice, charitableness, the year of rest, the Sabbath, idolatry, three feasts, the angel promised with blessings if they obey him, okay? So um, it, in chapter chapter 23, chapter 2, it says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, okay? Neither shall they speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Thou, you know, so um, it just don't, don't put your hand with the wicked, you know, to do unrighteousness, okay? Um, uh, and, you know, it, it sort of be an unrighteous wit, uh, witness, okay? So just these, these are things that still apply to today, okay? Our Bible is still relevant. Um, it still can be used for today to guide our steps in what we decide to do as human beings with the short life that we're given. Um, you know, we're, we're here not for ourselves, but for God. He made us to, so he can delight in us, okay? Um, you know, we're not here to just do whatever we want willy-nilly, okay? Uh, we're, we're here for him. All right, so the uh, last place I stopped off was um, Leviticus uh, chapter 30. So I want to continue, you know, with that. Um, all right, so uh, this is in giving, okay? His own hands shall bring the offering of the Lord made by fire. The fat with the breast it shall be, it, I'm sorry, it shall he bring with the breast may be waved for a wave offering before the Lord. And the priest shall burn the fat upon the altar, and the breast shall be Aaron and his sons. But the breast shall be Aaron's and his sons. Okay. And the right shoulder shall ye give to the priest for a heave offering of the sacrifices of your peace offering. He among the sons of Aaron that offer the blood of the peace offerings and the fat shall have the right shoulder for his part. For the wave breast and the he shoulder have I taken of the children of Israel from off the sacrifices of their peace offering and have given them unto Aaron um, the priest unto his sons by statute forever from among the children of Israel okay these are perpetual statutes and the portion of the anointing of Aaron and appointing of his sons out of the offerings of the Lord made by fire in the day when the when he presented them to minister unto the Lord in the priest's office. The, the, the divine commands, which the Lord commanded to be given them of the children of Israel in the day that he anointed them by statute forever throughout their generations. And the law of the burnt offering and of the meat offering and the sin offering and of the trespass offering and of the consecrations of the sacrifice of the peace offerings, which the Lord commanded Moses in Mount Sinai in the day that he commanded the children of Israel to offer their obligations unto the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. So it was a burnt offering, meal offering, sin offerings, trespass offerings, consecration and peace offerings, Mount Sinai, and these are the d d divine commands. Chapter uh, 8 of Leviticus, that Moses um, consecrated Aaron and his sons, their sin offering, their burnt offering, the ram of the uh, consecration, the place and time of their consecration. Um, okay, so the Lord spoke unto Moses saying take Aaron and his sons with him and the garments and the anointing oil and the bullock for a sin offering two rams and a basket of unleavened bread 
Gather thou all the consecration, sorry, all the consecration, all the congregation together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him, and the assembly was gathered together unto the door of the tabernacle of the, con of the congregation. And Moses said unto the congregation, This is the thing which the Lord commanded to be done. And Moses brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. He put them, he put upon them a coat, girded them with the girdle, uh, clothed them with the robe, put the ephod upon him. He girded them with the curious girdle of the ephod, and bound it unto them, unto him, therein. And he put the breastplate upon him, and also he put the breastplate of the Urim and the Thummim. Sorry, some of these words. Okay. And he put the uh, mitre upon his head, <clears throat> and also upon the mitre, even upon his forefront, did he put the golden plate, the holy crown, in the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was therein and sanctified them. And he sprinkled thereof upon the altar seven times, anointed the altar and his vessels, both the labor and his foot to sanctify them. And, and he poured of the anointing oil upon Aaron's head and anointed him to sanctify him. And Moses brought Aaron's son and put coats upon them girded them with girdles, and put bonnets upon them, and as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the bullock of the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the bullock for the sin offering, and, and he slew it. And Moses took the blood and put it upon the horns of the altar, round about with his finger, purified the altar, poured the blood at the bottom of the altar, sanctified it to make reconciliation upon it and he took all of the fat that was upon the inwards and and the call above the liver and the two kidneys and their fat and Moses burned it upon the altar but the bu bullock and his hide his flesh his dung he burnt with the fire without the camp as the Lord commanded Moses and he brought the ram and the burnt offering and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram and he killed it, and Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about. And he cut the ram in pieces, Moses burnt the head and the pieces and the fat, washed the inwards and the legs in water, Moses burnt the whole ram upon the altar. It was a burnt sacrifice uh, for sweet savor, and an offering made by fire unto the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the other ram, the ram of consecration and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram and he slew it and Moses took of the blood of it and put it upon the tip of Aaron's right ear upon the thumb of his right hand upon the great toe of his right foot and he brought Aaron and his sons and Moses put the blood upon the tip of their right ear and upon the thumbs of their right hands and upon the great toes of their right feet and Moses sprinkled blood upon the altar round about. And he took the fat and the rump and all the fat that was upon the inwards and the call above the liver and the two kidneys in their fat and their right and the right shoulder. And out of the basket of unleavened bread that was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake and a cake of oiled bread and one wafer and put them on the fat upon the right shoulder. And he put upon Aaron's hands and upon his son's hands and waved them for a wave offering before the Lord. And Moses took them from off their hands and, and burnt them on the altar upon the burnt offerings. And they were consecrations for a sweet savor. It was an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And Moses took the breast and waved it for a wave offering before the Lord and for and. Um, for of the ram of consecration it was Moses' part as the Lord commanded Moses 
And Moses took of the anointing oil and of the blood which was upon the altar and sprinkled it upon Aaron and upon his garments and upon his sons, upon his sons' garments with him, sanctified Aaron and his garments and his sons and his sons' garments with him. And Moses said unto Aaron and his sons, Boil the flesh at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and there eat it with the bread that is in a basket of consecrations. And as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons shall eat it. This is like the priest's food, okay? And which remaineth of the flesh in the bread ye shall burn with fire. You shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation in seven days until the days of your consecration be at an end. For seven days shall he consecrate you. And he hath done this day so the Lord hath commanded you to do to make an atonement for you. There shall, therefore shall ye abide at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation day and night seven days. Keep the charge of the Lord that ye die not, for, for so I am commanded. And Aaron and his sons did all things which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. Chapter 9, Aaron's sin offering and burnt offering for himself and the people. Moses and Aaron blessed the people. The fire came out from the Lord upon the altar. And it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel. And he said unto Aaron, Take the young calf for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering without blemish and offer them before the Lord. And unto the children of Israel thou shalt speak, saying, Take ye a kid of the goats of a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb, both of the first year, without blemish, for a burnt offering. Also a bullock and a ram for peace offering, to sacrifice before the Lord, and a meat offering mingled with oil. For to today the Lord will appear unto you. And they brought that which Moses commanded before the tabernacle, of the congregation and all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord and Moses said this is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you and Moses said unto Aaron go unto the altar offer thy sin offering and thy burnt offering make an atonement for thyself for the people and offer the offering of the people and make an atonement for them as the Lord commanded. Aaron therefore went into the altar, slew the calf of the sin offering, which was for himself. And the sons of Aaron brought the blood unto him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, put it upon the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the bottom of the altar. But the fat and the kidneys and the call above the liver for the sin offering he burnt upon the altar, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the flesh and the hide he burnt with fire without the camp. And he slew the burnt offering, and Aaron's son pre presented unto him the blood, which he sprinkled up round and about upon the altar. And they presented the burnt offering unto him with pieces thereof and uh, pieces thereof and the head. And he burnt them upon the altar, as he did wash the inwards and the legs, and burnt them upon the burnt offering on the altar and he brought the people's offering and took the goat which was the sin offering for the people slew it and offered it for sin as as the first and he brought the burnt offering and offered it according to the manner and he brought the meat offering and took the handful thereof and burnt it upon the altar beside the burnt sacrifice of the morning he also slew the bullock and the and the ram for sacrifice for peace offering which was for the people, and Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood which he sprinkled upon the altar round about. And the fat of the bullock and of the ram and the rump, that which covered the inwards and the kidneys and the call above the liver. And he put the fat upon the breast and he burnt the fat upon the altar and the breast and the right shoulder. Aaron waved for a wave offering before the Lord as Moses commanded. Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people, blessed them, and came down from the offering of the sin offering and the burnt offering and the peace offering. 
And Moses and Aaron went to the 